This episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash locked on NFL and use code all lowercase locked on NFL to win $50 instantly when you play $5. That's a $45 come up. Final score predictions for this Sunday night game. Chicago Bears, Houston Texans. The Texans are at home. You guys heard your franchise quarterback. Leave early, beat the traffic, we'll do it, whatever you got to do to get to the NRG Stadium on time because the Bulls on parade got to rattle a couple of bears that come into town. Now, some final score predictions, Lauren, take it away. Yeah, the uh, line over on FanDuel Sportsbook is Bears plus six and a half as the road underdogs. And that to me feels like about where I would put it. Like, I, I do think the Houston Texans are going to win this game. I, I don't think, I think Bears fans have been penciling this one in as an L since the schedule came out. It's like, okay, Texans will be two. The Bears aren't going to be where they're, this is not going to be the peak Chicago Bears yet. The Texans are a few steps ahead of where the Bears are in the terms of the building up a young quarterback team building process here. So I, I do think this Bears defense isn't going to let Houston walk all over them and score a ton of points, but whatever reason, I, I think it's going to be enough for them. And I think the Bears offense will get a little bit more going than they did against Tennessee because it was a lot of them getting in their own way. And this is a long preamble to say, I'll go Houston Texans 23, Chicago Bears 16. Mm. A few more field goals than either mm. team would like. Or maybe there's a missed extra point or a two-point conversion attempt that fails in there. So we end up getting kind of a funky score and the Bears end up keeping it a, a one-score game there. But maybe the final score looks a little closer than a lot of the game does. The Bears get a touchdown late to bring it within seven, but ends up being a little bit too little too late and makes the final score you know, a little bit more respectable than where parts of the game are earlier on. Really quick for my fantasy lovers, Lauren, is there anybody on the Chicago Bears that people should sit this week uh, or uh, maybe a player you anticipate having a big week? Yeah, I would generally steer clear of the Bears' backfield. Like DeAndre Swift is the number one back, um, and you know he had a good enough game last week. But everything beyond behind DeAndre Swift is, I don't understand the rhyme. They, they're rotating four different guys there. I don't know. It's hard to piece together. Like they could they use one of them on third down some of the time, but it, it doesn't. I don't haven't been able to figure out why or the sense of the rotation behind DeAndre Swift. So I wouldn't rely a lot on that group. And again, like Cole Komet hasn't done anything yet this season, so I wouldn't go there. If Keenan Allen is the if if he's healthy if he if he stays off the injury report the rest of the week here he's the guy to focus on he had multiple red zone targets including a touchdown that hit him in the hands and he dropped it like Keenan Allen's gonna get his Caleb Williams already loves throwing the ball to him he's he's been more of the security blanket than anybody and that that's who I would keep my eye on there we go final score prediction for me I, I you know what Lauren you said six and a half is the line right now yes uh, yeah, I think if Houston can go out there, they held the ball for 40 million, 40 minutes against the Indianapolis Colts. Wow. The last two drives for the Houston Texans, 15 minutes, 14 points came away from that. So if they can play keep away with the Bears and based off what we saw week one, a struggling offense already, uh, an offense that do we believe they have the offensive line like the coach has that can allow their quarterback time to get a couple of those bombs off no not yet so this is all we can go based off of i think if you can keep the ball in front of them make it hard for the chicago bears to move the ball and play keep away this could be a game that can get ugly uh really soon for the houston texans so i'm looking at a 23 24 10 type of game i think houston wins by two scores and, and i think that we will see another good performance by joe mixon not 150 on the ground but just another solid performance from him and I can also see this being a quote unquote tank Dale game where he's getting open because y'all just don't have nobody to stop him. He he can beat almost any any coverage you throw at him. So I think this will be a game where we come where we say, man, Joe had another solid game and Tank Dale played very good for the Houston Texans 2014. One thing I want to ask you about quick before we wrap up is how do how do you feel about the Texans special teams? Because that was a big part of the Bears' win in week one. They had a blocked punt for a touchdown, and they also had a, a really long punt return and a really long kickoff return. Neither one were touchdowns, but they gave the Bears' offense really yeah. good field position, and then they love their rookie punter, Torrey Taylor. He can flip the field and pin offenses back. How do you feel about 
the, the general operation of the Texans special teams? Are there any concerns there? Do you feel like that's a strong group overall? I, I don't know anything about Texans. No, no, I think that's a, a strong group. The Houston Texans have had one of the better special team units in the NFL. Like even when they were going out there playing for tie games and they were only winning three games in the season, or four games in the season, and Davis Mills was the quarterback, or it was Jeff Driscoll and the Driscoll cat. No matter what it was, the special teams unit for the Houston Texans have been well, and they love Townsend down here. Uh, you mentioned y'all punter up there. Man, he can flip a field down here. He can flip a field, and I think you don't necessarily want to see your punter too much, but he is a, you know, a special weapon where you can – Kind of, if a drive, if you're three and out on a 30 yard line, he can get you and, and and have the offense start. The opposing team offense, they can they can start on the 30 yard line. He can flip and feel. Uh, I, I like the special team units. They're coached by I think one of the better special team coaches in the NFL, Frank Ross. Uh, shout out to British Brooks. He had a big hit on special teams last week. Uh, Noah Hewitt played some damn good special teams uh, snaps for the Houston Texans. Very good unit, and I think once the league continues to figure out ways to go about the new kickoff rule, you know, scheming up how to get extra yards and we're already seeing more returns. I think this special teams unit can be even dangerous, even more dangerous. Excuse me. It'll be a big matchup then because both teams are feeling good about their special teams and all, all it takes, right. Is that one, that one big play is it the big return. Is it, is it a block somewhere? Is it, tackling a guy way farther back like that's the kind of thing that have a big swing in this game so I look for look for either team to have a big special teams play I will put that in my prediction as well I, I don't know who it will but somebody's going to have a big special teams play that has a big impact in this one I do want to shout out former Houston Texans legend Jonathan Owens yes he scored the touchdown last week on the, the block yes special teams shout out to the, to the legend 